Okay, welcome back to Welcome back. Friday, Saturday, we bunch of excitement. Sweet. What's up? We have a clean situation and we're back in. Okay. <laughs> so you were talking to Zephyr, the mentor bar. Oh, yeah, oh right, right. Bar oh, boy. Feller. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I asked him something right before he left. Yeah. Do you remember what it was? I do not. What's the yeah. airspeed velocity of, sw of swallow? An, an unlightened swallow. Unlightened. Wasn't that? <laughs> 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 <Sounds like European. laughs> right. Uh, what's the wind resistance on that one? <laughs> yeah. Somebody actually figured that out. Yep. Oh like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right into It's like twenty-five feet per second. Something hmm. like that. I love that. They're talking nerd stuff. Does that take into account yeah. wind resistance? Monty Python nerds. Give them a minute. Yeah, they took all that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Anyway. Fucking nerds. I don't remember what I said. Oh, I was comparing him to uh, Anthony. And yes. Oh, yes. The the yeah. Asking if That's you know him. They, they, they might come from the same place or the same area, but they don't know each other. Yeah, I don't even know where Anthony came from anyway. Texas. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't even know where he met him. Yeah. I don't remember him either. <laughs> I don't remember the name of that town. Oh, I was telling him a story yeah, I was born together. The story yes. for a story. Okay. The story for a story, yeah. So, this one time I killed a girl. That's how <laughs> it went out. Yes. <laughs> I go into, I elaborate that I somehow showed up in this round ass room with all you guys in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys were fighting this thing, and the only other rogue in there is trying to talk to me in Thieves Camp. I don't have time for that, so I'll flip him off. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're best friends now. <laughs> He's not here right now. Besties. But we're best friends now. Right, right. And, um. What right, was, all right, all right. <laughs> what, what was this guy? What was he? A fire giant. He was a fire giant. He was the fire giant king oh, of. King of. A city. A oh, city. <laughs> well, they have the trials with, with the golden ball. And I stabbed him in his <laughs> eye, and that's how he died. Right in the eye. Oh, yeah, that was me. That was my uh, dagger in his eye. I think I probably took it back. That was a little more Australian than. <laughs> Sorry, I <laughs> yeah, switched. I got from Cockney to proper British to uh, Australian. They're all one. They're all my English accent. I think. Similarly, you should go ahead and get the popcorn. But so you know the story. I don't know. Hmm. Could she make a uh, performance or persuasion check to see how well of the story she did? Let's do it. Which one? Uh, do you have performance? No. I'm it's not a bard. Not proficient in it. Persuasion, persuasion. Okay. Sleight of hand. I talk with my hands and I make you <laughs> see a beautiful fucking butterfly. Uh, give me persuasion. Yeah, so okay. Is that a 20? Yeah, a 20. Is it 20? Persuasion. Ooh. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. We're a little bit nice. 25. 25. Oh. That's good. Awesome. Too. You tell yeah, so Helen's story. Eats it up. And I didn't realize it was good. Not normally a very good storyteller. <laughs> so this well, is an at-home shirt. Now. That was my fine like it. story. I like it. Glad you think so. Thank you. you. I may uh, so you reach like out to you for reference yes. in the future. <laughs> I'm unemployed. I never realized you liked Helen. So. Well. I guess it's time uh -huh. for me to tell you. No, no. Yes, that's what I've been waiting on. Right. <laughs> Takes another drink of this. We don't. We've not got all day. <laughs> well, <laughs> so I never have to wait for the story. <laughs> you seem awful thirsty. Shall I get you another one before we stop? Hold your horses, sure. little lady. All right. It'll be uh, one. I was thinking being quick about it. It'll be one red drop. Okay, red drop. Red drop. Red drop. Okay. Minus for that. Mm. That is mighty fine. Thank you. Mighty Welcome. Fine. Let's hear your story. Well, cowboy. Yeah, <laughs> Write a book about how to be a black tree. Zip. Zip. I'm gonna go all this bitch. Yeah. That's right. My name's Zephyr. <coughs> I was not always like a it? bard, a bongo player. Or a minotaur. But I met this other bard. Uh, it was a dwarf Nothing. bard. <laughs> a dwarf bard? A real nice fella. <laughs> a dwarf bard? Yeah. Bongo, I mean, I bongo. Too. Called himself Bongo Bongo, bongo Hammer. Hmm. And he played a mean bongo. 
Yeah. 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 And so and maybe even I was like, good with that's really no, cool. No. I'm going to have to pick that up. Pick it up. It's really not that hard to play. It's half on the other side. Are you really surprised? Yes, you are good. I've heard a lot of people practicing over my time. Yes. You've seen quite a lot of practice. Do we, you know, really charge for charge? I love Calhoun. I really do. He taught me a couple of things, and then he went about his own way. And I've been traveling around, uh, playing the bongos, and telling stories to people, and all that kind of stuff. So, is this your. Um, Do you want to watch this? Yeah, that's your thing. 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 Yeah, Yes. Which is nice. Uh, nobody's still so yeah. yeah. Which one? Maybe first. I'm not going to break it. It does. Marshall's for me. So, about a week ago, these, these rogue fellas come in, uh, saying they're from the Call of Bandits, but sounds like a real evil thing to be in. <laughs> but they seem really nice. <laughs> All right. You know? Very reasonable people. Uh, they, they showed up, they killed oh, like a couple yeah. bad things around, and people started liking them. Um, yeah. Started asking for people to join. I, I, I don't like being tied down from to a certain place or, or a, a you know, group. So I just, I, I flatly declined and said, no, I'm good. Uh, I got some other gigs I got to go mm -hmm. do. Maybe if if things change, maybe I'll maybe I'll join them, but not right now. All right. Um, talk a lot about dragons. Uh, about how they talked uh, about dragons. Yeah, yeah. About them. You know, they were not real good. I don't know. I've never really met any dragons. Other than dragon horns, like uh, like your friend there, Krishna. Krishna. What color dragon are you again? Gold. 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 Right. Yes. Uh, <coughs> yeah. What did they say about dragons <coughs> when they were here? No. Put down the rock. Well, <laughs> they don't they don't care much for them. I tell you that they want to kill a lot of them if they can. Mm. <laughs> Do you think they can? Well, given the amount of people they've swayed to their side, I would imagine so. Yes. More than one dragon they want to kill? From what I understand, yes. Do but I don't why? really know why. The dragons at the Dragon Isles are real nice. <clears throat> For the most part, anyway. Uh, the only reason you get kicked out of the Dragon Isles if you're dragons is if you get the dragon sickness. The dragon sickness? Yeah. What's well, okay, <laughs> you know, and you would know this, you know how <laughs> My character would know this problem. Yes. <laughs> every, <laughs> every year, at a certain time of year, they, the guild sends a bunch of ships over to the Dragon Isles to pick up old shed scales for use in Money. making armor and creating drop out. Yeah. That accent's really invaded in that. It is. So. Uh, well, I get it. I've almost done it several times myself, sir. <laughs> so, uh, the guild has real good ties okay. with the dragons over there. The fighters guild here? The guild. The, 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 the oh, right. right. The, yeah, the adventure. That's right. right. Not the fighters guild. <laughs> so, <discovery>. um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> They go every year, they, get, they make sure all the dragons are still there, make sure, you know, if they have run any of them off, that they know which ones and at least what direction they went. Um, but they, they've always been peace, peaceable. I mean, the chromatic ones aren't real nice, per se, but they're, they don't outright attack people. That's good. I don't understand why you want to just wantonly kill them. Right. But. We have an idea. 
Yeah? I don't have an idea. I love the dragons. <laughs> Deeply. I do too, actually. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's a dragon. That's as, as right. It, as it happens. Why yeah. do they want to kill them? <laughs> they, want to, uh, I know. they want to raise the chaos lord again. Oh. And Cult of madness, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I sure enough do. You know it is. <coughs> What do you say? That makes <coughs> it a lot of sense. You know it does. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put a yeah. stop to that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. We're gonna see that that doesn't happen. Well, Maybe I think it's your solution. I think that the guild will be appreciative of that. Imagine so. Now. Welcome to come along if you'd like to help. Well, no. He's got uh, I'm not really a group kind of guy. But I appreciate the offer. We appreciate the information. I do. Yes, indeed. Well, I just have to add this to one of my stories. Yes, remember that I bought you a beer. <laughs> Make sure you put that in your story, speak, please. Speak fondly Thanks, Mal. Miss Beer Cat Lady. Mal the Mal. Mal the Mal. She was it's such a weird cat lady. Right? <laughs> it rhymes. Yes, yes, mostly. I like things that rhyme. It's real easy to fit in stories. It's true. Well, Dark so, Seuss. mouth to mouth, don't forget. Fold your beer. Fold your beer. I will not forget. Thread Dronka. Yep, because I put a nice one there. I appreciate <laughs> that very much. You're welcome very much. Yeah, we're going to talk to everybody. Let's go, let's go fight something. All right. We got to go. Well, all right. Have yourself a good day. Should we make our way toward the library to find out the rest of yeah, the group? Biblioteca. Go grab the crew. Biblioteca. Now, you, is there anything else of note in the biblioteca in the restricted section? Ooh, okay. Uh, are you looking for anything in particular, or just browsing? Just kind of browsing. Okay. Let me give you a check. Look for hidden treasure. Yes. Investigation. Biblioteca. Check. <laughs> Makes me think of. Uh, is community. Now? Community. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh went way far. A bit of community. No, yeah. Three, yes. Community so, 11. <laughs> Dan Roiland. Okay. No. Um, Dan. Yeah. Wait, I'm there with you, right? Yeah, yeah he's with me. Can I assess? Sure. So I get a oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. get around. Yeah. Really. What's, what's, what's it about? Yeah, it's 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 in college. There we go. Uh, 20. College. 20. Non traditional students. 20 better. Community college. It's for awesome. sure. Two of them are traditional students, like kids. One for the Donald Butler, another bit. Hot bed chick. Yeah, but then the rest Sorry. of them are like. We're explaining community viewers. <laughs> you yeah. should all watch it. It's in the restricted section. Other than <coughs> Nicholas Flamel. All the glory, chaos, <laughs> you find a number of uh, really s- sketchy, dark subjects. Okay, Glory of Chaos is the book that I read earlier. Yes. And you're okay. Not you did not go crazy. Fortunately, hey, um, before you pick up anything special like that, make sure you ask for my help first. No, I got it. Don't worry. Because no, I can help. <laughs> I got it. We're fine. <laughs> Who needs advantage? I'm pretty sure I did. When you have dis- <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, yes. oh, that's where it is. There are books oh. about nice. creating oh, kind of phylacteries. Yep. I got that. <laughs> there are <laughs> books <laughs> about it's creating. Nice. It's awesome. Phylactery is like a book for us. Oh, oh okay. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Quetzal yeah. Gora, left forever. <laughs> there is a book about, uh, and it's a th- kind of a thick tone, about the creation of a philosopher's stone. Okay. Oh, no, we should not know this. It has very, it's clearly written in blood. <laughs> And is uh, <coughs> full of very unpleasant steps you have to take. Okay. Yeah. Um, Better game. Of, I know what. I, we don't need this. <laughs> you kind of understand or, or know. I, I've really have heard of kind of the gist of how it works, which is to sacrifice uh, the soul of someone. Yeah, that's what. Uh, that's that's what Toretto was trying to do, right? <laughs> Toretto. Yes. Yeah. Innocent or powerful. True. True. It's not the soul of someone you love, but it's the soul of someone innocent or powerful. Right. It doesn't have to. I mean, it can be someone you love. No, but, but it, it doesn't. doesn't like, that doesn't matter. the power. No. Someone innocent or someone powerful. 
Oh, I can kill two birds with one stone again. There's a note in there that says it's easier to find innocent people to sacrifice than it is to find powerful people uh, because babies. <coughs> Really? Children. Because babies. Uh, <laughs> you know. That's always a little bit of a problem with killing babies. Maybe some unicorns. I but mean, but. For the greater good, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for the greater good. <laughs> Overpopulation is a thing, Bob. It's, it's, all, it's all off the table. They're, they're assholes. There are books about Malapus. Babies and Malapus. The Lord of Undeath. Okay. Um, there are books about. I'm at Inchman. Uh, there are books about Chaldea, the goddess of death. There are books about um, turtles. A group. Uh, it's it's a format of undead called Tech Dead, Ooh. which is from a uh, evil dead overabundance of purposefully tainted. Okay. Thank you. And it's not good. Does it have any? Does it show any like weaknesses that they would have? <coughs> uh, destroying the brain. No, it's pretty rough. It's brutal. Is the key there? Uh, there are other ways. <laughs> it's gonna come off later. But okay. There are books concerning. Creating undead, just like different types of undead. Quetzal would love to have another an army. And the like. Oh, he's cool. Uh, there are. Ooh, okay. This is what I was trying to think of. There are books that describe the different lords of the hells. Ooh. Mm. So, like the demon lords, the devil lords. Important and powerful evil creatures. Mm. It does not give any of their names, really, um, other than sort of <coughs> nicknames and the like, just because. Fuzzy pants? Knowing <laughs> a. Cutie. Cutie booty. <laughs> knowing a demon's name that makes it easier to summon them. Yeah. And I saw him cutie booty. Now, does that Dr. give any information as to like specific weakness, weaknesses to Lord Pinchabon? Yes. Um, you, well, not necessarily the weaknesses per se. Or how to stop water <coughs> for some reason. It, they talk about how the, the vast majority of them are immune to fire. Uh, it talks about how many of them cannot uh, like be charmed. Nothing by way of weaknesses. Okay. Though. That doesn't make our job easy. Yeah. What about where they're at? Where they're found? Oh, well, they're in hell, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're okay there. <laughs> Unless one gets no. you know, on the material yeah, plane. <laughs> everyone else is not in your library. As you head out from the Adventurer's Guild Hall, you find that there are posters up that were not there before you came into the hall. Probably some bitch. And it has uh, a very familiar logo on it. Umbrella. Uh, Sven's Coffee Shop. Going out of business. What the fuck? Yeah. We have here. questions, Sven. Where the hell am I going to buy we're, we're everything we're going to Sven. <laughs> at Sven's? Because we're not going to allow him to go. That doesn't make any sense. He's got to be making bank in this business. We're, we're going to Sven's right away. Yeah, we're going to. We, yeah. All right, we got to talk to Sven's. To Sven's. Sven. All right, so we. Da, 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 well, not horses, though. I feel bad every time. I'm about horses now. So I, we're some I, I, browse, I browse those tomes, oh, and then I'm like, all right, let's get out of here. I'm a cat. We found all we need. Okay. We found all the information we need. You, you step out of the library around the same time as they reach where you are, because they're far enough away that it takes them some time to get back to you. And, and they were interviewing so people. So we didn't run into them. Yeah. So. Like. We're all out, outside again. of the Obsidian Lyceum. So we're all together again. You're all together again. You see the posters up. A lot of people are moving towards Sven's coffee shop. Okay, let's let our the rest of our group know what we learned. 
okay. about the Cult of Madness. I'll also let them know what the There's wheel is. And vice versa. Yeah, and, uh, so what do you know? Well, the only way to stop this is we got to kill a bunch of innocent people. Okay. Kill, no. We have to kill a bunch of innocent people. <laughs> no. Wait, what? No. I was about to write that down. Please stop. We've got to go on a rampage. That is not <laughs> true. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, oh, yeah. it's the easiest so, way to stop that's it. That's one way to go oh, about it. That's one option. I mean, if they kill a dragon, then they... You know, we kill a priest. Lowers the amount of evil in the yeah, world. Right, right, right. Yeah, we kill innocent people. Yeah. It balances it out. We gotta yeah. so we gotta get one rampage. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to resurrect the god of badness, Kalak. So there has to be more chaos in the world than normal. They have the, to just throw it out of balance. Somehow. The key to that is he's being held <laughs> behind the veil of madness, which is balance. Uh, so if there's more chaotic stuff going around in the world. That would lead to a thinner veil of chaos. Or if there's more good than evil, that'll. Thin or the yeah, or if there's more good so, happening. Well, it's. They're probably shooting. You're kind of right. Yeah. That's, let me let me clarify something. Thank you. So, the veil is where all technos eventually ends up. Or is parsed down, right? Yeah. When creatures are born, technos from the veil leaves and goes to them, giving them life and such, right? When they die, that energy returns to the veil. Their soul goes where... So we need to balance the veil and not the... The more creatures and living things that die, the more Tegnos energy <coughs> goes to the veil. The stronger the veil, the more energy that they like there. feed off of, thus allowing them to break free. Right? And then there's the two-sided coin of what they're doing. If if they get a whole bunch of adventurers So the more dead, the more time they get to live in the veil in which or if that they kill a whole bunch dragon of dragons. or whatever gets to feed off of. Or if yes. they kill a bunch of whole, adventure, whole bunch of adventurers trying to kill dragons and succeed on a few, their mission is a success. In yeah. the veil. So if the veil is too strong or well, too weak, itself out then. Kalash can get out. Because if, if a bunch of adventurers die and the dragons die, then it's just watch, it's a wash. All of that technos goes to the yeah. veil. And that's bad for us. Well, the technos is. I thought we had to keep it balanced. Yeah. It doesn't have yeah. to be. It, it doesn't matter if there's a bunch of technos. Yeah. It's, just, no, it's, it's, it's also used in magic. Well, I get that. So, technos is pulled from the veil to create refined technos. Which is like a that's the magic. It's the mana. It's the magic stuff. Yeah. Com- what do they call it in Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, it made it my <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> we don't, uh, we don't, we don't, Technos. we don't talk about that. Here. <laughs> Sorry. Te- Technos is more like, like lava. Yeah, world. I like the prequels. Like it's <laughs> There's a certain amount of magic that can be in the world, right? And from this pool, it's yeah. given out to yeah. people. <laughs> So and if there's like the stronger if it's too much, or if there's too much in it, it's going to cause problems. Right. If if there's too much or not enough. Right. It's, it's yeah. So the way it. that it is typically balanced is by you know a bunch of wizards using technos to cast spells, pulling from the veil. Let's say, <laughs> or if it's the other way around, then it's wizards Lots or of other die. other magic users looking for a genocide, giving it back. That. Uh, so you're saying killing innocent people will will save the people? No. I, that's all. No. Kill all the innocents. No. It, no. This is not the opposite. This is not free reign to be a murderer. <laughs> Massacre. No. What? What? <laughs> Bob, what this no, I, group is doing? I get it. Red everywhere. Because I'm hot. And they're flooding the veil with technos. Yes. That's yeah, what they're I, doing. I got it. I'm, we want to pull away from that. So the only thing we can really effectively do to help is. Get a bunch of powerful wizards to cast wish <laughs> simultaneously to, for the purpose of drawing what? magic out. I got it. I got it. But mm-hmm. I still. I, mean, I want to nice. see. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw the glasses. And then the magic. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. I love that. Yeah, great. I use that uh, gif quite frequently. All of the information is crossed over. Got it. Notes are, are all right. Well, let's, and such. let's go kill some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all 
and we kill or some stuff. Or save some stuff. We'll save some stuff. We kill the bat. Kill the stuff we need to kill and save the stuff we need to save. So we're going to spend. Going to spend. Yes, we're talking spend. Do you have any clearance sale? Yeah. That's good. It's good fucking going out of business. Yeah, go buy everything. It's not on sale. It's just all clearance. No, I need I need sales stuff. What's he gonna do with it? Put it in a warehouse somewhere. When you get in there, get real. This is important to know. When you when you get in there, a couple of things have already changed. It's important. Number one, write them down. most of the super strong magic items, the legendary stuff is gone. The ones that are like locked up are actually still there. Oh yeah. Cool. Some of them are gone. We're rich as hell. A lot of them are still yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, we can't afford this. We'll see. He's the, gone out of business. <laughs> um, much of, much of the more mundane things, including like very rare and such, and like down. Um, the shelves are pretty bare already. Uh, this place is packed with people. I think but it's all ruse for him to sell more stuff. Black Friday y'all. Despite yeah. that, it doesn't seem, it seems like the place expands to accommodate the quantity of people. In it. So oh. it's not super crowded. Also, there are sort of near the front desk. There are like 20 instances of, of Sven. Of Sven. <laughs> Sven. And there are lines. For each one. And they're asking him like, what's going on? Why are you doing this? It's very, it's very white noisy in here. Like there's, there's chatter to the point that none of it makes sense. It's very hard to make out individual conversations. Um, don't, don't we have a closer relationship with him than others? Uh, as our group? Not necessarily. Well, a no. little bit. Our last group did. Looks like we have like our little logos. Like ones there are... We're okay. the Stamrellers. Oh, the Multitudes. tattoos. Yeah, the, tat the tattoos. Tattoos. Different races. And adventuring um, parties. There are... Yeah. Motley Crews. Why are we the only people worried about this? Adventuring Cult parties. Of madness? Why is no one else trying to... Uh, yeah, there's the multitudes. Yeah, I'd say there's probably multiple. You're not the only one. Yeah, no, the, the guild's looking into it very... Yeah, but we are the guild. Yeah. Is, is pandemonium. So we're looking at you very thoroughly. Yeah. Uh, That's right. You see races you've never seen before. You see creatures you've never seen before. What are they doing uh, as Finns? They're, well, so Finns Coffee Shop is, is out. Hmm, I feel like I'm pretty familiar with most races. Is across the plains. He has shop fronts in like the <coughs> Mine Hells. He has a shop yeah. front in uh, Elysium. Has there a, he has shops, a, a shop front at least on every plane, uh, which is crazy. Wait, what kind of currency do they use on like the other plane? Like the abyssal plane? What, what kind of currency do they use in there? Well, it can't be dropping. It's typically barter, trade one thing for another thing, but it, it varies. Right. It's um, interesting. Souls. People have I mean, hell it would be. people have have items that bad. they're bringing. It's like, Give me your souls. Um, <laughs> Fuck it. The, <laughs> the front area also where you would go to like purchase <coughs> has is bigger and there's like more room for 20, the lines. There's like twenty or thirty mal there. Just so like you went from like a, a dollar store cash she, register to mean, like a Walmart. Oh yeah, cash it's <laughs> totally Walmart line. Yeah. Like, but there's actually people she, there, right? Like, there's yeah. Actually people there's actually people there. there. Yeah. It's different in that way. has got it going on. Every register has pe has a person on it. Yeah. Oh my god. See, that's why we shop here. I know. It's okay. crazy, right? It's convenient. They utilize their people to yeah. register ratio. <laughs> well, I think we should go up to a spin. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, ask him what's going on. You why? get at the end of the line. How are we doing this? Um, and you have to wait a good probably 30 minutes before you get... <coughs> Up to. Can we do it others? Because I can just push people out of the way. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> no. I'm important. No. Uh, flight he, power. He, he, yeah. He kind exactly. of. Uh, we'll flight supremacist. Thanks, thanks to the <laughs> These are not birds. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't care about them. <laughs> go off to peruse the aisles. Um, there are like no potions left. Of course. None. Uh, he says. Do I have potions? How, how can I help sure, you? Sure, don't. <laughs> I, uh, I assume you have many questions. Yeah, what's happening? Oh, yeah. Why yeah. are you close? Oofta. Oofta? Oofta. 
<laughs> Is that the question? Yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> what's, why are you closing? What's happening? Okay. What have you done? That's the biggest campus. question. Yes. So, we met with the other gods. gods. Yeah. Yes. They told you to stop. Uh, and Abin himself. Really? Probably of interest to you. Big, big, <laughs> I, like, uh, I kind of turn yeah. up. Yeah. The, the big god dude? dude. Who's the, who's that, like the yes. god of gods? Yeah, yeah that's the, the main one. The yes. big dog. And uh, given the madness and all of the other things that are happening, that accident went crazy. Sorry, there. <laughs> it's hard to maintain that accident. Uh, he kind of you see his, his form change to his like shiny armor format, which doesn't have the accent. Yeah. Yes. Good, good thought uh, by you. And, and <laughs> good on you. He says, uh, having a place where <coughs> anyone from basically anywhere can come in and buy anything it's dangerous. was deemed to be too dangerous. So clearly, cult of madness tricks. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, Spence Coffee Shop isn't going to close per se. It's just gonna have a lot. What's over the past? Not hungry. It's just there. Fifty years or so. I have been working toward closing it down as it well, is now. Like I've been building secret dungeons to put <coughs> more powerful items. So that it's not impossible to get them, them, but it's a little harder to. So what you're like, work for. what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the really powerful ones, like the Doomslayer weapons, for example, are going to stay with me. Your swag. Because... Some of that stuff is just too dangerous to be out and available to anyone that has the means to get it. One of the things ridiculous is that Imp found the old fair and square, and then like the guild takes it away from him. He didn't him. find it. He killed the dude that had it. No, he, he did. He found a regular sword that became the Yeah, It was your swag already, and then he talked to it, and like. <laughs> And then the guild takes it away. I have been. Goddamn police Imps state. It's gone. It's a goddamn police state. Yeah, you have no idea what the is. I have been. He's not watcher language. Sorry. Writing. <laughs> tomes of information about where some of these items may be. Ooh, we would like all of those. Can we buy those tomes? And these shelves have to be used for something. Tomes to tomes, tomes to tomes. So, tomes what's to going tomes, to happen tomes. is. Over like the when next, the tums go? I don't know, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> make the tums go! Spins Coffee Shop. <laughs> it's going to become an actual coffee shop. Hey! hey. 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 It has a series of bookshelves containing information about a lot of different things. That'll be very useful. That uh, should prove to be useful. Anyone can come in and peruse them. The dead members of fate are rolling in their graves right now. <laughs> none of them, uh, none of the tomes should, uh, will, will contain anything dangerous. Like that should go in the restricted section, for example. Uh, it's just going to have a little hints and uh, words. Secret code, if you will, for where some of the more potent magic items that have been created have been hidden away. Seems like a worse idea than just having a shop where you control who gets the magic items. Psst. Well, like the Cult of Madness could get a tome, you'll get the, the bottle with, you know, whatever's in it. And I have to decipher my words. Probably a little easier with their, you know, millions of followers. <laughs> Someone's gonna millions. Of followers. Well, they have, I mean, I mean, they've got a lot. Well, we do have a lot. We just gotta beat them to it, son. I, <laughs> I feel like these things are safer in your hands than just like spread out in some dungeons in the world and you giving people hints to get to them. I like the race. Yes, I suppose in certain viewpoints that would be true, uh, but. 
being able to just step into a place and anyone purchase anything. Then they don't even have to find it. Makes it a little easier for evil to perpetuate. So. They just robbed the bank, dude. Think about the whole fucking shop. We're yeah, not. He has the power to pick who he sells to. Which he's, he's you know, denied people before. Yeah, but how does he know their intent? How, he, how does he know they're not hired? I mean, it's, he's a god. He, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> the point is that as, as unfortunate as, as it is, and as much as I have enjoyed having this as it is, it's time for a change. It's time to shift the way that that works. Um, now, that doesn't mean you can't go to other magic shops that I'm sure will prop up, that will have a, a, a handful of items here and there. I guess it's good for the economy. You don't but, run a monopoly on you know, but selling everything. it's not going to Mom be... Mom shops. Yeah. Big businesses and kill them anymore. That's right, that's right, yeah. that's right. All right, so, well, let's get some of these tongues. Some of these items I yeah. have <laughs> spread around the realms to different existing co uh, magic shops, coffee shops. Wow. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so, I'm going to get used to selling coffee. <laughs> so you'll have to uh, try and find... You won't be able to come here for magic items any longer. There might be... I say that. There might be a, a handful of trinkets here. Like any other magic like shop. Like low-level... But it's not going to be the way that it was. No, I, I get it, and I, and I can understand that. I don't. I, I just don't know about spreading the things around the world. I get why you're, you know, you're not selling stuff anymore. Yes. But you know, just yes. leaving them out there in the world for you know, anyone to find seems a little risky. Well, something called risky. Yeah. Walking a fine line, Sven. <laughs> Playing a dangerous game. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. All right. Additionally, uh, we will be having a fairly long meeting, and I will be away for some time while all of this is sorted out. Not in this coffee shop, but what we're Spend. talking about. So why is we going to have a business? I missed that. <laughs> Because it's really not safe to have a place where you can buy everything. Yeah, I'm all about saving the dolphins. Okay. Oh, can I have a beer on conversation, me? actually? Yeah. I wasn't just not listening. No, I was no. in the bathroom. No, I got you. I said, can we cut line? And no one heard me. Oh. But we were already talking, it seems. I heard you. You did? I just didn't know. You did. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be ignored. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier, Thank you. We were on. We were in the car, and I was said something, and I like looked at him after I said it, and he was like, "It's oh, you oh, don't have uh, keep yeah." Me. And I was Thank like, you. "So you're just ignoring me now?" He was like, "I didn't hear you." <laughs> and I said, "You did hear me because you answered." <laughs> <laughs> I it that went a lot. in one ear and out the other. Yeah, I, don't, I, said, I don't That's you. called ignoring. I do, I do that. A it's lot. just it's just <laughs> the human nature. Well, it's not. What are you doing? It's on the Y chromosome. I mean, I get it. I understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but. The program is called ignoring. I taught him a word today. Yeah. I never thought I could ignore anybody until like my ex and like he could literally talk and I'd be like looking at his face going. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? You do that a lot. What were we talking about? Yeah, yeah. Where were we talking about? It's like, you nod know, your head and look really like into the conversation. Like, yeah, like, yeah, sure. <laughs> We yeah. just literally have this assumption. Oh yeah, I do that sometimes. Sometimes my brain doesn't always. That's the first time I caught it. It was funny. Sometimes. Yeah, it's okay. It's a lot. <laughs> Lots like, of times. Like I'll ask a question. We talked about that already. <laughs> You're like, did we have this ago. conversation? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry. Go ahead, Smith. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> 
I really don't know where we're at in this game. We were in Walmart, pretty much. Yeah, Are we in Walmart? 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 Magic Walmart. Yeah. But it's shut down. What are you drinking? What is it? Magic Walmart. That is a Devil Ants IPA. You want one? Can I try this? Yeah, go for it. Very, it's very hoppy, like very mm, bitter. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not brown like this one. No. <laughs> it's very. It's very hot. It's a very bitter beer. But I'm willing to try anything. Like I'm willing to try something well, different. I, I try you know? every beer I can We'll try, try yeah. everything. So we are not going to have a Walmart to go to anymore. No, we got to like actually find stuff. That is that was weird. But we have Tom's in his actual coffee shop. He's going to have a Starbucks now, <laughs> with books. Oh yeah. A Starbucks, if you will. <laughs> Starbucks. Spend Starbucks. <laughs> I like it. Spend Starbucks. Mm. That works pretty well. Mm. And ring my Remember. Remember. Rest of the I don't really purchase it. Because you have books there. <laughs> and it's yeah, a coffee but, shop. I'm here. Why does the star come in? Because Starbucks in the real world. Because. And because there are books that have stars on them because they're more important than regular books. Mm. <laughs> because because the coffee's the star. Oh, that's good. Starbucks. Books. And it's one word. Mm. I will consider this <laughs> name. You don't have to. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call it though. So. We quite our own terms here. I will put it under yeah. consideration. Okay. So when is he going out of uh, business? Before next meeting? There's about... Never mind. What? Nothing. What was your question? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, sorry. I thought you had a question. I asked if I actually had a turn because I wanted to go smoke, but I didn't know if I actually have a turn. I don't know what I'm doing. It's not combat. It's just just kind of jumping whenever you feel like it. Okay. All right. It's just role playing. So, are the tomes available now? Have you distributed the items around the world? or We have... Largely distributed them at this point. As you can see, the shelf. It's hanging everything. around Tommy. So within no. two <laughs> weeks, three weeks or so, should be getting the books up. That was so serious. Well, I don't know. Oh, I think two days. Oh, two. Happen, and then. As you know. Sven or Gerald. Sven. <laughs> Okay. It's all spin. It's yeah. like, okay, I don't know where that is. Yeah. Abin is the main guy. Is the, but you're not using your proper accent. I'm pretty sure it's like an Indian accent. Yeah, but I had him change his form. He's the metal form. Yeah. Armor, which doesn't have the accent. Oh. His yeah. llama face form. Okay, so I didn't know he had a robo form. He's a god. He's got multiple He is no to the god of technology. Oh, yeah, that's right. So he's basically a robot right now. Sure. Okay, well, in that case, yep. uh, Sven, we probably have things to buy. It's been good. It's been good doing business with you. What is on clearance right now? What, yeah, what's what's on sale? What we got? Well, uh, you are welcome to peruse. Do you have a little bit of on them? Dust of tracelessness. Uh, I think so. Do you have uh, one other item too? That's a tracelessness would be good. That's a that's an uncommon item, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. For Something sure. else that was uncommon. Rope of climbing. Oh, that's that's also great. Uncommon. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh, oh yeah. I'm watching Fargo. And Letterkenny, which is like a Canadian comedy. Speaking of Canadian, it's anchored. Oh, Letterkenny is so good. It's so goddamn good. It's really like a rope of holding. Yeah. Well, like a yeah, like a rope of holding. Yeah. Well, like a. Or uh, in fact, that's what Letterkenny comes with. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I want a cool item. I want a cool item. <laughs> <laughs> you got a couple. I'm going to be on the phone. Yeah. Those, I would imagine, so would up. be easily enough obtained. Yeah. Dust of Tracelessness is a bottomless bag, from my understanding. Previously. Rigid dip to do. Rigid dip dip to do. Rigid dip 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 to do. Let's do it. Do it. You can get, as of right now, so that you can get as a group three uncommon items. Is that 
Yeah. As a group? Uh, oh, you're the treasure room. Yeah. Oh, we got money. Yeah. Oh, we got, just we got money. Plus We're getting yes. one rare. Isn't in the DNG. I thought it was. Is it, oh, is it a custom item? I don't know if you're going to comment on this. I guess so. There's dust There's of that disappearance here. That's not... It's not the same thing. No, that's very different. We can make it up. All right, I now, know what it does. Have we seen yeah. any cultists at all? Like any stragglers left in town? No. Damn. Um, we're gonna kill him. No, they vamoosed. We're gonna kill some people. Once so, uh, Theo showed up, all the cash. They bought some stuff from Spence and then bounced. Okay, dog. He says uh, most of my dragon. Oriented items were purchased about a week ago. So Everything you don't have the dragon plane sword anymore? Nope. Um, that makes sense. A. At least get portable tower. Yeah, the I have. Yes, those. Those are I think very. That rare. might be very rare. Okay. Or I'm even for legendary. About two mil. Uh, it's not legendary. Experience. It's at least very rare. Very okay, rare. Then, then it's very rare. I think. Let me find it. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so in theory, you could get one, one mil experience life. If that's what the so group would like to do, find a way to come up with like another one point one mil experience. <clears throat> Let's just. Be. I think that dust of tracelessness is a good idea. Well, dust of tracelessness is a yes. I wrote five Those yeah. two are yeah, very so. handy. Very okay. handy, for sure. Now we have two immovable rods, the rope of climbing. Everyone has some regular rope and some dust of tracelessness on somebody's hands. Okay. Not canes. Even though he would probably be the one to carry it, he's not allowed to because he's never here. <laughs> so, does traciousness, rope climbing, that's two uncommons, and you were talking about Darren's inst instant fortress, which is like a foot, uh, foot. It, it's a, cube. it's a little. Isn't it a big cube? I thought it was a little miniature figurine, like. Oh, the others. and it's the command word. And as a command word, it, it grows huge and can yeah. do some really interesting, unique uh, bludgeoning damage by yes. putting a tower on top of somebody. Yes, it can. <laughs> it's like the tower in the... Not exactly how it's supposed to be used the because it's has hard to guard. fix, and but it very does to fix. work. And like uh, in the Drizzt books. Why? But like the tower that the wizard has yes, in the end of the Yes, precisely. Yeah. Yeah. Like that spot that... The, oh, there was... Looks like a tower just appeared here. Mm -hmm. Blasted through the floor of this cave and all that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the really crazy guy. Yeah. What's yeah. his name? I can't remember his name. So. I believe. I don't remember what it was. It is a, crazy name. a one inch metal cube. Oh. Tiny. I thought it was bigger than that. What I just started. Uh, I think it's command word. I just restarted the to Darkness. to a fortress that is uh, 20 foot square and 30 feet tall. So 20 by 20 feet by 30 feet tall. And you can actually put a teleportation circle in it. Yes, and you can like set up the inside to be yours. Yeah. And it stays there. It's pretty neat. Okay. Well, what? What's the cost on that? Uh, <coughs> five to five thousand is rare, is what according to the DMG. <coughs> okay. Is that page? So for those three things, you're looking at which are kind of useful to the group. Um, 500 to 5,000 for the tower, but then the other two would be like oh, that tower's gonna be up to up. 500, 100 to 500. Okay. According to DMG's prices. 
let's say that you're looking at uh, 5,600 white draka for all. How much we got? A lot three items. Mm -hmm. But we have 32,000 white draka. How much? 32,000. You want to subtract 5,600 for three super crazy awesome items? Damn. Yep. Um, Do it. All right. I'll, uh, who's usually in the back of the group as we're trailing through things? Me and Kay. Spellcasters, or... We don't have any spellcasters. Kay's usually scouting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, the rogues are usually in the with us. We don't have a spellcaster. Like, 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 like a dedicated spellcaster. We don't have a true Other arcane we, we class. Just, yeah, like, um, that's weird. Probably best if Harriet or we have, Jezebeth are her carrying on to it, because, uh, Jezebeth well, like, will always be ranged and towards yeah. the middle of the Yeah, Crowley. Let's give it to uh, Jezebeth. She has okay. Dust of Trace. We don't have a Crowley anymore. No, we used to. So we don't have like, any dedicated spellcasters anymore. But now nowhere it comes. What's his name? Something immune to like fucking physical hits. Yeah. Let's get it. fucking wrecked. Well, I mean, I'm a spellcaster. I mean, I'm I can throw pockets. I'm a warlock cleric. <laughs> I have hot pockets. <laughs> I'm a warlock cleric, so oh, I'll have the, yeah. some... Powerful spells later on. Right now, I'm only cleric level or warlock level three. Yeah. But uh, I will get very effective spells soon, very soon. Actually, the next level. It is. I want to say that Darren's instant fortress. If it's damaged, it costs like a hundred gold or white draka per hit point to fix it. Let me pull it up. I always buy a new one. No. How many hit points does it have? A lot. I wouldn't just buy a new No, it's got a lot more than that. And it's siege health. I don't I don't remember exactly what it's cost. Darren's into a fortress. It's 10,000 uh, 10, to repair. We just buy a new one for 5,000. So. It might be less than what I was thinking. Darren's into a fortress. There it is. Uh, has a DC. Oh. The, the damage thing. They have to make a DC 15 dex save or take 10d10 bludgeoning damage. Oosh. If you set the tower on top of them. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep. Where is it? Where is it? It doesn't say it's how much health the tower Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, tower is made of adamantine, and its magic prevents it from being tipped over. Yep. Roof, the door, and the wall. The roof. Door and walls each have 100 hit points, and immunity to non-magical uh, weapons, excluding siege weapons. Right. So it has to be magical or a siege damage of some sort, and a wish spell can repair it. Hmm. That's uh, I wish it was and that's about it. Oh, so it can't be repaired without crazy magic. Wish, wish spells. Wish spell can repair it, and it costs. Each don't casting like can do <laughs> actually hit points. Clank overhears him saying this, and I was like, mm -hmm. I don't like wish spells. Like I'm just so anti wish spell. Like 100. Yeah. Yeah. percent That should be actually part this of my like programmed trait. into you. Yeah, yeah like, like, like uh, from a wish or no, spell. If you spell. cast wish, you don't typically use it to make up a wish. You yeah. Generally, use it to recreate to like cast an eighth level spell. Definitely. With we'll no say, component cost. Say, yeah, that's like that. the big thing is you can cast any spell in does the book. Is this Fantastic Beasts? Yeah. 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 On sci fi? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you can cast any spell in the book. I don't know where sci fi got the budget to get it. With no to cost. get the Harry Potter movies. Yeah, that's nuts. Really I'm helpful because some spells cost like 25,000 or 50,000 gold. Mm -hmm. uh, with the wish spell, it's a zero. Well, yeah. This movie. I haven't either. So Clank is skeptical. <laughs> Wish has a lot of very right it, specific it, music. Oh. And, and if you did. use it in those so specific bad. formats, nothing bad happens. Then there's no penalty for that. It's but just you know. When you go outside of that, though, your strength can be set to three for the next two d four days, and uh, you're basically extremely exhausted. But that's when you kind of you go, can ruin not the even world. That, not even that. Or you could die if you wish and like craft a separate thing away from what it can typically do. You have to roll percentile dice. Oh yeah. And, and if you roll a certain number or lower, you cannot ever cast Actually, you wish push again. on it until it clicks. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Like, you just can't do it anymore. <laughs> so, 
It's a cool spell. A very cool spell. Just the moment you said wish, Plank like shriveled. He was like, sorry, just yeah. beeping and booping yeah, everywhere. Wish, wish is, <laughs> is, no, is, no, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not good. It's a scary spell. Wishes. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, it can do a lot of. We good. saw the end of the world. A lot of bad. Oofta. Used poorly. So you got some items. What did I get? Well, they have to get group got some items. Oh yeah, Eli. Cor- Corvus got the items we needed. Okay, I told him to get me some cool. Which is cool. He did good. <laughs> he did good. He did good. He, did. he got us a, a tower we can kind of spawn everywhere. A tower? It's like a yeah. Yeah. like a big tent, but a tower. It's a one-inch yeah. cube, and you say the command word, and it becomes a big. Tower, oh and you can sleep in safely, and it's pretty handy. Straight out of the Ant Man. Kind of, yeah. 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 Ant Man, what? And Wasp. Did you? Is that on Netflix? Yes, it is. I just saw it on Netflix. Yeah. I saw it. If Netflix. you are, I just watched it the other day. Standing really in it. where it spawns, you have to make a dexterity saving throw or take 10d10 bludgeoning damage. It's a new which weapon. Is, which is not. What? Is it a movie or a series? A movie. Okay. Yeah. Part of the MCU. Movies. What's, next? Mm-hmm. What's next, yeah. folks? Um, uh, well, uh, <laughs> so we talked to Sven. I'm really tired, too. Uh, we have to go to some kind of grove. Lyra Forest is where we need to go. Do we? I thought we need to go to the Dragon Isles. Um, well, if we go to the Lyra Forest, or if we go to the Grove of Ancients in the Lyra Forest... That's where the Cult of Madness is hanging out for people to join their cult. Oh, yeah? Ooh. That's where they've been told to go to so we could join. To join. Try to go, we could uh, join. double agent. Yeah. Join. Double All right. agent stuff. Or maybe even some of us could go pretend to well, double agent join. Well, he can. You're like Paladin, right? Yeah, you're so obviously he could not. Yeah. 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 I so well, because they're, they're killing you. Hey, you think you crazy evil guys. guys. <laughs> I'm also a crazy evil guy. It's a lie. I'm like, well, I'm pretty much stuff. They're fighting evil things right Chinese now, so he can definitely join and kill evil stuff. Kind of no, well, but he can't well, support evil. He, no, but good. I don't think that they're <laughs> they're spouting that they're supporting That's a, evil. Yeah, they're right. They're, they're, they're saying that, that they're killing good guys. things or yeah. killing evil yeah. things, and they're, they're good people. They're pretending to be good guys so far, and that's what everyone has taken away except it's those. A, it's a gray area for a paladin. That are oh, like uh, I don't know. Some people just don't trust them. That's the only thing that's so, who, who's carrying this tower that we just oh. bought? Uh, mm-hmm. Who wants to carry it? Bob needs to carry it. Didn't you say that Not if you're standing in the area that where it spawns, you take 10 d 10 Yeah, yeah, but you just don't stand where well, it spawns. How big is it? Uh, 20 foot by 20 foot. Oh. Alright, Bob, you tell me <coughs> the enemies, like 5 10 enemies, you drop that fucking tower on Alright, I'll take, I'll, I'll carry it if you guys want. I'll, I'll say, I think someone who's on the front should probably hold it, because it has a right. use. I'll carry it. But it doesn't matter who holds it. So, I'll do still. It. Well, Bob could fly, he could drop it in a group of enemies. Yeah, but bear in mind that that's a good way to damage. I'm saying, you don't want to do that. You want it to be on the ground first, or the tower has to fall. Damn it, I got it. Uh, I'm a barbarian, I'll just drop right in there and throw it down. Damn, okay. the fortress is not designed to be a combat item. No, oh, we're, we're gonna use that. <laughs> okay, but no, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll carry it. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be so, smart with it. I'm not gonna be dumb with it. I mean, I'm the, so, I'm the smartest one in the group, so I might as well. We know the cult of Magus wants to go to the dragon house to kill dragons. <coughs> yes. Okay. And we also know that to be recruited, we have to go to that forest. We should go to the forest first. That's where most of the time. We go to the forest and join. Uh, I think we should have. We should split up. We have a big yeah. ass party. Nope. We never split the party. Okay. That is, this, I don't know the rules. Bad news bears. Yeah. <laughs> that is like one. <laughs> we have a big party, party though. We uh, have a big party. Never want to split the party. Never want to split the party. We're, right. we're, we're going right. to the forest. Yeah, I said we go to the forest. To join? Yeah, we go to the forest, forest to join. Okay. Yeah, I was saying, going to the Dragon Isles, I think it's fruitless. Uh, For the moment. They may want to attack dragons, but I feel like if you want to attack an army, attacking their headquarters is... Not exactly the best way to do it. Yeah. Especially an island but covered in the most powerful creatures on earth. <laughs> well, if, well, we could, we could, like tell the dragons, be like, hey, these dudes are coming to kill. They're probably very familiar. <laughs> hey guys, fuck them up. They probably know. Well, see, my my idea was more to like go there and stop them when they showed up, but 
I also planned on being a double agent anyway, so I wouldn't be in the house. Well, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm cool with being the. I'm, I'm cool with all. No, that. I don't know. If we're not supposed to split the party, we shouldn't. Well, let's go. Let's go to the forest then. We'll okay. join the. Let's, yeah, let's double agently join. Go the, to the grove of the. Angels. Join the call. Yeah. I'm cool with joining the call. In the forest. I'll yeah. do it. He's completely okay with just drawing yeah. something on just randomly. Let's do it. <laughs> as long as as long as being straight my life. Oh, oh, we have a Doctor Melty face motion. Keep in mind. You do, yes. He'll find Dr. Melty face. Let someone drink in front of him. I still have all kinds of shark Okay, Corvus. Here's Dr. Melty faces. Actually, I'll hang on to it. I say, I don't know. He's my friend. I mean, I would drink anything about it. Quetzal don't care. Yeah, Quetzal doesn't care. We'll do something after this. That's hilarious. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, the plan is to go to the forest. To the grove. Lyra Forest. North of mm-hmm. City mm-hmm. to the, I think it's actually called the Hinge of the Ancients. Oh, you said Grove. It, it right works right. out either way. It's the, same. Okay. it's the same thing. It probably has multiple names anyway. Okay. The Ancients <coughs> spot. Yes. <laughs> in the Forest of Lyra. Okay. What is the plan? For joining up, I'm just gonna show up and say, "Hey, I have hey. fantastic persuasion." Hey, we're a bunch of cool dudes. We wanna hang out with some cool dudes. Oh, Nothing well, sexual. We can run a party mansion. We're not gonna let Wessel <laughs> talk. That is very funny. Just say we were led to believe you were in Zendaku, and when we got there, you weren't. But then we were told that you were. Except we were told where to come to join if we place. wanted to. We're 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 like the, we like the cut of your jib. We hear you uh, kill evil things Insane and jib uh, for pay money for it. Help Is that like your new word? Yeah, like yesterday thing, I was sale. So. Yeah. <laughs> was yeah, we have yesterday. All tons of information about how they want to be perceived, so we can let them know that we've perceived okay. them the way they want to be. I see. And if you want, I'll roll persuasion. Very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she can roll persuasion. I cannot. For the record, if we get to this place, I'll start using my mask of many faces so that I don't look like a cleric of Albert. I look like just a warlock who Just a mean black bird. A loud ass black bird. (laughs) He sounds like like Godfrey. Mask of many faces can remove any holy symbolism. Hey guys! Everyone's like. take you. Now, is, is, there, is, is there a means of teleportation from here? Whose ears are bleeding? Right. Probably. Yeah. Can we find that? Yes. What are we looking for? A means of teleport to Sartak City, which is a lot closer than where we are now. Or haste. From the haste. Okay. Yeah. That is something that you can do uh, as a sort of last. Uh, favor for a while. Uh, Sven's actually happy to do that for you. Hey, thanks. He's got the power. He's got the power! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the power of the Do name. it! <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he kind of gathers you all up into a, a space. And Alright, guys, have fun! Okay, <laughs> bye! And we're at the forest. And you will arrive at the front gate of Star Trek City. Most excellent. The northern gate? Yeah. Which one would take you about a week to get to. or two <laughs> to get to from Zendaku. Uh, yeah. But you teleport over there, which is very nice of him. And you are at, we'll say, the west gate. Okay. The gate closest Where is to the... Zendaku, then, I guess. Yes. Uh, we need to head north. Okay. She's not going into the city itself. Do it, should we? I, that's no. up to you. I, I want to commission the red scales. No, 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 no. We don't have any reason to, so. Huh? We've already done Those, uh, the red scales, so I want to commission them. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you have reason to go. Okay. 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 Cool. Well, if, we, if any of us have reason to go in, we should all go in. Mm-hmm. At the city. Okay. No. We can all benefit from okay. it. <laughs> we to the, is it the forging or market district of the city? You would be going to the guild district. Okay. Uh, to oh, see Armorsmith. Yeah. Armor's bed? We would like a suit of red okay. skill. First of all, <coughs> for the Star Trek City is bigger than any city you've ever been in, by far. Wow. It no. is so we had been here before. Huge. No. Been here before? No. no. Your group has never been to Star Trek City. Mm. This place is large. Yeah. There is a district 
just for the University of Magi, where all the crazy wizard towers are. It's bigger than most towns. That's bigger than most towns. Uh, there is... Uh, you see, as you're kind of walking through... Did you the sand several of the different districts. <laughs> There are shops and there are food vendors. And there are little things. She's got a starfish. She's brand new. Where they sell things like rope and nails and that kind of thing. Minor sort of standard tools and such. You pass by what is very clearly a Technos refinery of sorts. Yeah. Where they have these gigantic vats of shiny blue stuff. And you <laughs> see around the vats there are these uh, clearly some kind of magic users. They're standing around just kind of like drawing it up from seemingly nothing and putting it into this, this tub. They kind of, there are tubes that disperse it throughout the city. Technos? So there must be a huge pool of Technos in the Vale for it to be yes. flowing like water in some cities. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of the lights in the city are powered by Technos. Um, all of the... Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah, because magic and yeah. not the city's, electricity. The city's running on it. Yeah. yeah. So there is a lot. Yeah. Crazy. Cool. You ask around, I won't make you roll for this, just because for gravity purposes, <coughs> you ask around and you find that one of the better smithies in the city, black city, oh. or scale smith, as it were, uh, is a fellow by the name uh, of Uncle Frosty. Excellent. Oh. Is he a he's snowman? A, he's an old dwarf. With the white beard. Um, colloquially known as Uncle Frosty. His real name is not Saint Nick. Uh, something Frostbeard? Uh, oh, he, oh, is, oh, he is the brother of the High King of the Dwarves. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Is that Santa? Well, he's giving himself the name Uncle Frosty. Yeah. He will, he, it was either that or Uncle Cracker. He raised. More or less, he <laughs> raised <laughs> Isaac Schmidt's son. Uh, that's a throwback to the first campaign. Which is on YouTube, if you want to watch it. All of it. Every bit of it. On YouTube. Check it out. To all of our viewers. Was it Chaos? No, it was Fate. It was Fate. Fate? Still Fate. Yeah, Chaos, was, chaos was dumb. How long did the Chaos even go? It lasted half as long. There's a whole book up there yeah. that says chaos on it. So. We're at four years now. I don't yeah. think chaos. It's not full. Well, it's not two years. Oh, okay. Chaos. Yeah, no, it, like it had a solid half. year and a half or so, but yeah. that was about it. Because they were dumb. Fate uh, works out. He has a number of different. They items released our donkeys on the bullshit. Display. That were made from different. They released Jack and Diane. Donkeys. Scales. <laughs> okay. Shut up, Bob. Okay. Items, items on display. Okay. Made from different kinds of scales. Oh, fucked me up. Is there... Was it donkeys of, made of, of dragon of, scales? So there's like white oh, scales. Don't. There's like white scale items. There's metallic yeah, scale items. Uh, you know, while we're here, I could probably use a cold proof shield. Tootsie. A cold resistant Gitty. shield. Okay, that would be a white Gitty. rock. Uh, or a white scale shield. White scale shield, yeah, you got plus ones. Um, <laughs> he's not really much of, a, of an enchanter per se. Oh, but I can get one and get him. It is inherently cold resistant, mm -hmm. just by the nature of what it's made of. But it's not like a plus one. It's just a way you could get an enchanted. And you're resistant to fire right, right now. Right. right. Yes. Because yep. you're a dragon. Because he's a golden dragon. Golden. How dragon. much? How much for this, good sir? Four dollars. <laughs> Tree fitting. U.S. <laughs> well, tuna fish sandwich. Is this something better? You want them? Yeah. I, I made like it one. using. I just have them. I was going to throw them away. So. I was going to throw them away. Cast off. Though. Draka. Right. So, as the coin of the realm is used, the magic in it fades over time. And so they kind of cycle out old money. And they, they sort of 
divvy it out to different scale smiths to create things like hammers and shields and swords and nails and stuff like that. Because it's essentially shapeable like metal and it's stronger than like metal that's mined just because it's dragon scale stuff. So it's very tricky to work. Not, a, not an easy thing to do. But you, uh, he, he kind of, this will be 200 white rock up. Excellent. Deal. Yeah. It's not like crazy, monetarily speaking. It is for the common. Well, it'll like, it'll drop my AC bot one, but I'll be gold resistant. So. Uh, also, Tits. we could offer 500 pounds of red dragon scales. Well, uh, I was going to have um, some leather armor made for Mal. Okay. Red, the, for the red some scales. dread red I scale mail. I gave you clothes. Yeah. Red scale mail. Okay. Now, you have the hide, and I think you also have scales. Yes. So. Oh, that's red dragon. dragon. Yeah. What scale, what scale would inhibit her sure. sneak? <laughs> scale armor would, but it could be shaped to be sort of like studs in leather. Like a studded leather. It could be studded leather or something. Right, yeah, that's... But red right. instead of brown. Made of red dragon yeah. scales. Oh. It's not just so red. So the leather would be resistant. from the skin oh, of yeah, the dragon. Yeah. And then the studs would be made from the scales of the dragon. Nice. Yeah. Which would so be nice. pretty no. badass looking. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it would be all red, and it would grant fire resistance. Uh, fire resistance, and I'll see hey, how how he does in making it. Tommy. No, it's not a very. It's not a very final. Yeah, he was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a lot of this material. How much would it take to make it? How much of the material would it take? Well, like percentage. Of what we're <clears throat> you have, oh, so you have 500, we have 500 super pounds nice. of leather, yeah, and then like a couple hundred pounds That's of scales, cool. right? 250 pounds of red dragon meat, okay. Not so, <laughs> and some more scales. The leather <laughs> would only take maybe 50 pounds <laughs> to make it. <laughs> Of course, it had to be just okay. tan and oh, that kind of stuff, that's hardened cool. and such. Um, that's a good one. And then the scale that would have to be shaped into, in, in, into the studs and then put into the leather, the hardened leather. Um, <coughs> so you're looking at about 50 pounds of the leather and maybe 20 pounds of scales. So could we maybe then barter that he take a certain percentage of the material okay. that we're not using <laughs> as payment? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, I'm going to ask my... I have meat, too. No, okay, okay, so he will take double Vote for mall. what is required to make this. For mall. And then whatever is left mall. over, he'll just mall. keep it. Mall. Mal. Mal. That works. Why He's fine with that. Because you also gave... It's going, it's, it, this is not a short process. Right, that's, that's why I wanted to Friday. get in here right away. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This will you probably take. Nice do you not remember? No. <laughs> I don't know. You were drunk. A month yes, or so no, you to do. You were. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. So, you. <laughs> Mix it's, it I up. Think, I think it's just time for a break. Why? Yeah. Like normal time. Okay. I don't know. That's. Elon has to poop, is what that means. That's very funny. <laughs> so, just kidding. How do you say that's very funny? It'll take a month. Mm. You're saying to make my clothes? To... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, yeah. It's not an overnight. Oh, kind shit. Of thing. He could probably my brown rush. Out. <laughs> okay. He could rush job this, but it'll it will cost more. I, I think that as long as we <coughs> do it before we go fighting dragons and shit, then 
And I still have meat. Okay. If, uh, we, if we need meat. <laughs> you'll take. From a red dragon. You'll take. I just want to make it. That's the way to do it. Oh, like, yeah, you really probably should. Basically, do this. if you get the first time material, I am literally going to you, like knock myself out. Um, yeah, probably yeah. fast track it to two weeks instead of a month. No, I mean, it's your house. If it works, it works. It works when people are in here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for my sweet car. Mm-hmm. Oh, I lost it. But I'm going to be the new Daredevil, just so everyone knows. Oh, vision. The Dragon Seal Mountain, the DMG. Is Damage. a very rare attuned item, but it also grants a plus one and advantage on saving throws against frightful pre- presence and threat Wow. It's not going to be that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I will think I, I of what it does. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is going to have some inherent magic just because of the nature of what it's made from. Ah, and the other one is additionally, um, so as an action, you can. Kind of like how your shield has cross resistance. Thanks so for the clothes. Yeah, sure. I've got the team. Yeah. So, I'm excited. The other thing it says on here is you can uh, focus your senses so and action to magically discern the distance and direction <laughs> to the closest dragon within 30 miles of that Sorry. same type okay. of dragon. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This is not going to be that. I know, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's what's cool. a very rare dragon yeah. scale does. Yeah. What I'll do is I will kind of. I, I'll figure out what it does because I'll have some time in game before that actually becomes a thing that yeah. comes back to you. So, uh, yeah. So cold resistance is like half off cold damage, or um, yes, yeah. okay. half off. So right, right. Cold damage, you would take half. So, so if I if I rolled a, a, the saving throw, I would take a quarter of damage. Yes. And if I fell the saving throw, exactly. Damage. Yes. Because percent? resistance. So like. Ha- having damage stacks with other sources. Like, okay, for for example, if you, with the shield, right, it, it, if you drink a potion of cold resistance, that's still magical cold resistance. Hmm. So those don't stack. Uh, right? But if you make a saving throw, and you have the shield as well, those are different kind of sources nice. of, of, of where it comes from. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it seems we have been <laughs> largely abandoned. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> they needed a smoke break. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I guess this might be a three-parter today. Just by the nature of... Uh, the will of the people. On? The will of the people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, our first break was a little early. Just because some stuff happened. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's totally fine. We're going to take another break, and we'll be back in a little bit. <laughs>